Hi, I'm Fook with Alpha B Group. Let's talk taxes. And today, I'm going to be talking about the mega backdoor Roth IRA. If you work at a company like Google or Microsoft that offers this mega backdoor Roth IRA option, I would definitely suggest you take advantage of it. The good news is that more and more tech companies are actually using this plan and they're implementing it as part of an extra benefit for their employees. So with the mega backdoor Roth IRA plan, this is actually a separate account from your 401k. So what you want to do is see that this 401k is one account and then if you have this after tax plan, also known as the mega backdoor Roth IRA plan, this is also a separate account. So imagine there's a line through here. The first thing is that what everyone's familiar with is a regular 401k. With the 401k, you have the company match if your company offers it. Um, your maximum contribution is going to be 19500 for twenty for 2020 and 2021. And with the 401k, you have the option to put into a traditional 401k or into a Roth 401k. The only thing is that the maximum 19500 is between the two accounts. So you could put 19500 in this traditional 401k or you could put it all into Roth 401k or you could actually do half half or 90% here, 10% there. It's your choice as long as you don't go over 19500. If you're over age 55, um, you could get an extra 5000 or so into the 401k. Now, separate from that is your after tax plan. With an after tax plan, also known as an after tax 401k, which makes it super confusing because it sounds more like a, a regular Roth 401k. And it's also known as the mega Roth backdoor plan. Whew. Okay. So with this after tax plan, you can actually contribute beyond the 19,500 that's allowed in the 401k. So what you can do is put almost as much as 37,500 into it, depending on limitations, which I will go over later. But if you have this option, what you're going to do is you're going to contribute into a 401k. As long as you know you're going to max it out, then I would suggest to consider the after tax plan. What you'll do is you'll put money into this after tax plan. It goes into this after tax plan account, but it can't just sit there. You have to actually roll it over into a Roth account. That's where the whole mega backdoor Roth IRA term comes from. So what you want to do is make sure that you put the money into the after tax plan and then roll it over into a Roth account. That's the most important thing. The reason is because if it's stuck inside this after tax plan, any earnings inside there is gonna be taxable when you take the money out. So the way to avoid earnings being taxable is by rolling over into a Roth plan. So when you roll over to the Roth plan, you want to try to roll it over as soon as possible because even if you leave it inside this after tax plan for a month and it grows, then when you do the rollover, that little growth is going to be subject to taxes. So if possible, try to roll it over immediately after you contribute to the after tax plan, roll it over to the Roth plan. So some suggestions I would have is to make sure that if you're going to contribute to the after tax plan, make sure that you know you're going to reach the maximum contribution for the 401k plan. There's no point to contribute to the after tax plan if you're not even maxing out your regular 401k. Suggestion number two is that you would use this after tax plan to beef up retirement. So it's just another way to put more money towards retirement. But the benefit is that all earnings inside that account is tax free. If you want to max out this after tax plan, you have to make sure you have the right amount being contributed because there is a total maximum that you can put into your retirement account. For this year, it's going to be $57,000. And what that is, is that between all of these right here, you could only max it out at $57,000, which includes the company matching. So let's just say you put 19500 into your traditional 401k and then the company matches $6,000. Then that only leaves you with $31,500 to put into your after-tax plan. And that's the Mega Backdoor Roth IRA. If you found this useful, please share it with other people. Like us on YouTube. No, Facebook. Well, I don't know if you want to on. But I'm on to my next video.